Aloha, I'm Chris Berman. And coming up on ESPN, they had to draw up a blueprint for beautiful football weather. This has got to be it. Picture perfect autumn day for football. Some leaves outside the stadium. Dan, Peter, Susie, they're there to enjoy it. Tennessee, Green Bay, now. The ESPN blimp is sailing through the night air overhead, and we are getting set down here on the ground for this evening's football game. Hi, folks, I'm Dan Stevens. Welcome to historic Lambeau Field. My partner in crime is Peter O'Keefe, and Peter, this game could boil down to a battle between two outstanding quarterbacks. Absolutely, Dan. These guys put both their teams in a position to win every night, and this is the type of matchup that true football fans wait all year for. Rodgers is a superb quarterback. He's got incredible arm strength, and that really helps him stretch the defense because he can hit a deep receiver with a bullet pass if you lose somebody. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Number 17 is a very capable quarterback. His exceptional speed gives him the mobility to avoid pass rushes and run for yardage when the situation calls for it. I tell you what, Dan, both these guys have potential to light it up today. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. I'll try heads. It's tails. Let me see. Number 14, kicking off for the Titans. There's the signal, and it's we're ready. Number 14 kicks it off to begin the game. Number 25 fields it all the way back at the three. The 24. The Packers will start this drive at their own 24 yard line. Jones picks up six on the play, and that brings up second down. Second and four. All of the Packers' 30 yard line. Down! Awesome. Weaver penetrates and stops that back at the 27. Weaver was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the yeah. backfield and what made the tackle. He's got such a vice-like grip, Peter. It's got to be hard to break out of his grasp, even when you're one of the uh, slipperier runner. Absolutely. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. Watson makes the catch on the right side. Watson works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third. Coach Fisher doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. Hey, we want a challenge. Tennessee is challenging whether the pass was caught inbounds. This is their first challenge of the game, and even if they lose this one, they still have one challenge left. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Now, I'd call that incomplete. It doesn't look like he got both feet into me, but we'll see what they say. After review, the pass has been ruled incomplete. The catch was made out of bounds. Tennessee will not be charged to timeout. Fourth down. He likes yeah. the call, and you sort of have a feeling yeah. that he knew it all along. <laughs> Number 16 lines up for the punt. Formation. Woods to make the return. Number 16 takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. Woods catches it at the 25. The 34. Woods returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like the Titans send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 34-yard line. Henry chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Yeah, let's do it. Start. 
Rhino Second Rhino. down, Rhino. one man Rhino down. Back. Single Ball back. at the Titans, 38 yard line. Down, set, They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Number 16 went to the outside on that last play. Had some room but couldn't make the catch. Incomplete. Let's make a stand. Number 17 zips it to the left sideline, and this one is incomplete. Number 16, that one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. That will bring up fourth down, and what a disappointment. That would have given them the first. You've got to make those plays when they come your way. Number four lines up to punt after the three and out. Number four takes the snap and pummels this one deep. Rodgers fields the deep punt at the 13. Turn for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. Packers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 25-yard line. Jones has his number called on first down and picks up eight yards on the play. Ball with the Packers, 33-yard line. Number 28 has his number called on second down and gets well past the markers for the first. Number 28 sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Rodgers passes this one after the play action, and First it's caught at the 50. Oh, Finally yeah. popped yeah. out of bounds at the 38. Number 85 keeps the party going after making the catch right here. And now he's off for more. Coaches love receivers who believe his job is just starting when he makes the catch. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. First down with two tight ends to the right. Jones dodges this one way out right and chews up about four on the play. Second and five. Ball at the 34-yard line. Rodgers passes this one, and the catch is made at the 11. Hunted down at the 9. It'll be first and goal. Watson had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. And Peter, we've talked before about what kind of an impact a big receiver can have on a football game. That's right, Dan. A lot of people still associate receivers with speed, but right here, height was what did it. the handoff gets past the line. Got down at the four. Number 96 with the tackle. Come on, D, we ain't giving Second up nothing goal. here. Ball at the four-yard line. You know, Dan, that tight end is a great target in the end zone, but the halfback will fast forward for a few as well. Watson ends up losing. Weaver not going to let them get back to the line here. Look how he just rolls into the backfield and just lays out the ball carrier. He's quick and he knows how to hurt a guy. That's his second tackle so far. Third and goal. Ball at the nine. Single back. Single back. Set. Number 83. Didn't That's haul incomplete. that one in, and it falls incomplete. That will bring up receiver. fourth and goal. Number 26. Number 26. Did a beautiful Beautiful's job on that last play, covering the post route. That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number two kicks it off. Number 40 fields the kickoff at the four. Breaks free. Tackled hard at 
at the 27. Number 40 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Titans offense takes the field and they will start at their own 27 yard line. Walker tackles in behind the line of scrimmage. Walker targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, this is like two big horned rams colliding out there. That time, he managed to make the tackle. Yeah, baby, this is what football is all about as far as I'm concerned. Who wants it more? Smith makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 91 got himself in a prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That play had potential, but the defense had other ideas. They forced the incompletion and also force a third and long. That's the perfect setup for the defense, Dan. Strong plays on first and second into this kind of situation. Number 17 throws a bullet to the flat and it falls incomplete. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Number four gets ready to punt this away. Number four gets the snap and punts it away. Rodgers fields the punt at the 38. Tackled at the 42. Offense will start this drive at their 42 yard line. Jones chews up nine yards and that brings up second down. Jones can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, two wideouts on the field. 28 gets the call on second down, and heads wide right. Back down at the 45. That will bring up first down. Watson goes in motion. Rodgers passes this one after the play action and it's off incomplete. Pass interference, number 48, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Number Automatic 48 first slapped down. around the receiver way too much on that play and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. First and ten. Larry, Larry, Larry. Ball at the 38-yard line. Down! Set! Down! 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 off the toss and gains about three yards. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right. And that'll do it for quarter number quarter. one. The Packers with a small lead, three to nothing. Second down with the tight end, right. Jones gets the call again and heads up field. Tackled at the 31. Number 20 with the tackle. Third and two. Ball at the 31. Down! Team. He catches it left sideline and they convert on third down. Rodgers threw a nice pass past the coverage and got the completion. Tough throw, but an accurate throw. A big gain on third and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Rodgers throws this one to the end zone and it's intercepted. Right down at the 16. Number 31 snatches away a big opportunity here. Watch this again. I mean, the ball goes flying into the end zone, except he's the one that comes up with it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. Watch the pass. The Watch Titans the pass. are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 16 yard line. Henry picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. 
Henry used the lucky, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they're looking for more. Number 17 throws this on a rope, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Douglas got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Woods hauls in the fight. pass, and they get the first on third and long. Number 17 throws into a crowd here and by some miracle gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. There you go. Well, the D had him covered, and they just couldn't get to the ball in time. A perfect pass. You can't coach that. That kind of pass is instinct. After playing it pretty safe and short in the first quarter, he looks long and connects first time out. That's good. You want to aim for the cheap seats every now and then to keep the defense nervous. Henry gets the toss and runs into the traffic. And touchdown! Henry gets down and dirty here. This is no after-school football, Dan. This is the NFL. Wham! What a shoulder charge. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 60 yards and one touchdown. Number 14 to attempt the extra point. Number 58 holding. Here's the point after, the extra and point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 14, rockets this one deep. Rogers decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks free, stop at the 19. Rogers took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Packers had their last drive stall out of the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 19-yard line. Jones gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Second and six. Ball at the Packers' 22-yard line. Rodgers throws a bullet to the flat and it incomplete. is not reeled in. Incomplete. The intended receiver. Rodgers has found limited success in the cover. passing game so far, Dan. And he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 49 yards and one interception. Third and six. Ball at the Packers, 22-yard line. Catches the hard throw, and they get the first on third and long. Number 13 is just crazy good on this play, then. He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to throw somewhere else, I think. Oh, but it didn't matter. He made the catch. Great job. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First down from the shotgun. Jones is at the 50. Finally stopped at the 48. It will be first down. Jones is having success on the outside and up the middle here. He's making the defense pay for his flexible running style. So far, he's got 52 yards on 10 carries. Number 48 the tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Number 48. Number 48. They really got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down to the Jones takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. 
Jones floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's Passes tipped. Incomplete. Incomplete. Number 31. Number 31. Couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. This pass will fall pass harmlessly incomplete. to the ground, Number and 13. it's incomplete. Fourth receiver. down coming up. Number 26. Number 13. The was frustrated on that play. He got open, but failed to make the catch across the middle for the incompletion. Peter, in third down Good. situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number 16 gets the ball and kicks what will be a short one. Back down as the 31. It's a nice starting point. The Titans are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at their 31-yard line. Henry didn't haul Passes that incomplete. one in, and it falls incomplete. Henry, the Henry looked to be in perfect position to make that catch, but the cover. it didn't come together somehow. The incompletions keep piling up, and even here in the second quarter, it doesn't seem to be improving. Not at all. They're just not getting it together. Timing, the routes of protection, nothing. Number 17 zips it to the left sideline, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 22, never gave his assignment any wiggle room and was able to prevent the completion. You know, it's all about blanket coverage, and that, my friends, is exactly what we saw. Henry catches it in the flat, and his out of 40 breaks the tackle. Eventually tackled at the 46. First yeah. down. Henry made a great catch on that play and then capitalized on it with a sweet move for plenty of extra yards. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Heck, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. Ball at the 46-yard line. Number 40 gets the ball on first down and heads out right. Finally dropped at the 36. Number First 40 sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. This pass will fall pass harmlessly to the ground, and it's Number incomplete. The Number 55 receiver. played against the inside Number pattern perfectly on that play. The pass never had a prayer. Incomplete. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up the second down. Henry gets past the line and shoot. Henry sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Henry gets the call on third down and searches for a hole. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Smith will be credited with the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. <laughs> Number 14 boots it from 46 yards out, and it's through the upright. Isn't that what I said? Isn't that what I said? Number 58 handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. Number 14, kicking off for the Titans. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 14, booms a beauty here. Rodgers downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Packers, offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 20-yard line. Rodgers threw that one away. Incomplete pass. Intentional grounding. Number 12, offense. Holding. Number 26, defense. Down. 
Rodgers zings it to the right side, and it's incomplete. Rodgers has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he struggled to get 66 yards and no touchdowns. Second down with a split backfield. Leopard, leopard, leopard. Bro, bro, bro! Down! Set! Number 85. Pinches the bullet out left and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 85 is all by himself and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. A well designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Rodgers really rifles this pass, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Uh, Number 31 on, came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Great, great read there. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Number 13 takes the catch out to the left and is well past the markers for a first down. Spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number 13, the Packers will take a timeout. That's their second. Come on, D. Out of the ball, you can win it all. Rodgers throws a big high lob and it's cut for a touchdown. Holding, number 26, defense. The penalty is declined. The score is good. the point after and it's good. Yeah, yeah. What I tell you? What I tell you? All day. All day. Me. Me. All day. Come on. Man. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Number two kicks this one away. Let this bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. All right, man. Cool. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. The Titans offense takes the field with the clock at five. Henry carries this one off to the right and picks up eight yards on the play. So that'll bring the first half of football to a close as the clubs head to the locker room, all tied. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, Total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Packers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Rodgers connected with his man on this one. The Packers midway through the first, this time at the 35. Rodgers would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 27-yard field goal. 
The Packers later on in the second quarter. Packers leading by three. Number 31 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Titans now in the second quarter. Henry is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground. He makes the most of this one. A 55-yard touchdown for the Titans. Titans out in front, 7-3. Rodgers would find his target on this one. After driving 40 yards on seven plays, number 14 sets up the field goal attempt from just about the parking lot. Got a lot of leg, though. He's got it. Connect on the field goal. The Packers late into the second quarter. Packers trailing by seven. Rodgers would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers are keeping it evened up. We're tied 10 all. Time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. This time, there can be no question. Henry has been unstoppable. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Titans get the ball first to start the second half, and they will have a chance to break the deadlock. It's all tied up here. Let's go down to the field. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, there's the drive results, and the thing I want to talk about is how close this game is. When the score is like it is, one single mistake can change the whole game. They need to be careful here. The Titans offense takes the field, and they will start out at the 26-yard line. Henry didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Henry tried to snag one across the middle on that last play, but it was no good, incomplete. Another missed connection, and even here in the second half, uh, the passing game is still strong. Yeah, I would have thought halftime would have helped, but it doesn't look like it. Henry takes it for his eighth carry and picks up eight yards on the play. Henry played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Henry gets the call again and converts the third down. Number 17 throws a bullet to the flat and it's caught. It will be a loss on the play, however. Alexander was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. Second down, two receivers to the left. Woods catches it left sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Woods had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. That's the second long ball he's reeled in today. One long ball is plenty, but two is something to be stoked about. Picks up six on the play, and that brings up second down. Hey, Dan, look there. Way to pick up yards after the first hit. the blocking but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play peter once he closes his grip around you you are not going to get free regardless of how evasive you are not with that strength with those guns you could call each other bowling balls or wide receivers for that matter number 31 gets to the quarterback and nobody lays a finger on him and then he proceeds to lay a lot more than a finger on him. Yeah, he used all ten and then some. They take away any and all room and prevent that play from getting past the line of scrimmage. Fourth down coming up. Fourth down, five yards to go. 
Number 14 with the 44-yard attempt, and they take the lead. Oh, Number 14 sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 14 kicks this one away. Number 25 catches it back at the one. Stopped at the 28. Number 25 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Packers will start this first play of the drive at their own 28-yard line. Jones gains eight yards, and that will bring up second down. Number 13 made a very, very nice block back there downfield. I love to see a wide receiver getting involved like that. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Number 28 will get the carry on second down. Number 73 really makes this play click together. Watch. Oh, he certainly knows how to throw a block. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Throwing left, throwing left. Down! Jones snags the hard right sideline and tries to get free. Brought down hard at the 37. Rodgers almost kills a whole half back there in the pocket. That's got to make other quarterbacks jealous to have that kind of time. And then he delivers a great pass to boot. Nice teamwork. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet. So far, he's got 165 yards and I'm one counter. touchdown. I'm First counter. down with two tight ends to the right. Down! With Jones picked up about 12, and that will bring up first down. Boy, they get some good yardage out of this one, Dan, and they do it a number of good ways. Good line blocking, good downfield blocking, and a nifty run to boot. Nice play. Watch the counter! Watch the counter! Here comes the counter! Double, double! Liz, Liz! Strong back! Down! Down! it over the middle and he's just barely past the markers for a first holding number 20 defense the penalty is declined Rodgers makes the throw after the play action fake and it's Hold tipped on, Good job. That's what I'm incomplete. About. That's what I'm about. Yeah. Number 31 yeah, came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's his third batted ball and he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see an aggressive D like that, Dan. Jones takes his 13th carry of the game and maybe picks up one on the play. Jones had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left on, with nowhere to go. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Rodgers floats it to the right side, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 21 kept both eyes on the short out on that one and caused the incomplete pass. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. That sure was perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Number two looks in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number two kicks it off. Number 40 fields the kickoff at the three. Tackled at the 26. 
Number 40 was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Titans will start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Henry picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. And at the end of that play, Peter, it goes to show you what leverage and good positioning can do when it comes to making the tackle. Yeah, and you know, Dan, that's especially important when you're outmatched on strength. That's a good play there. Number 17 rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 17 has had a number of pass attempts. And we've seen that his guys are out there running their routes and trying to make plays. He would like to do a little bit more, however. So far, he's got 78 yards and no touchdowns. Third down with the tight end right. Smith sacks him way back at the 21. That will bring up fourth down. 91. That's the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back way back. Great defensive play. That'll be his first sack of the game. Number four lines up to punt after the three and out. Number four gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Rodgers gets it at the 23. Knocked out of bounds at the 26. Rodgers got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. So, three quarters in the books now, and we're all tied. The Packers get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Jones will get the handoff and the heads left. Jones is taking it up the middle and battling that defense head on. And you know what, Dan? He's winning that battle. Look at the number. Second down, tight end to the left. Carries this off his left tackle and spins for the first down. Jones has some fancy feet, I'll tell you. Watch this. That was a terrific spin. And I think you chalk this one up to individual ability, wouldn't you say? Well, hey, give those linemen a little credit too, please, wouldn't you? Please, please. But hey, you're right. He's just far too wily out there to bring down. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Number 48, shut down that pass perfectly. You know when you're sitting back in a zone like that, what you're trying to do is read the quarterback's eyes to get a jump on the ball. That had potential for some yards, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Jones gains three yards, and that will bring up third down. Third down from the eye. the first on third and one. Number 85 plays this one perfectly, getting himself to the right place at the right time to make the catch. The defense should be embarrassed that they let this one get away. Yeah, Peter, they had him double covered and they still couldn't get to the ball in time. He was just too good for them. Yeah, he's an incredible Watch receiver. Down, Nothing gets down. in his way. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Number 28 takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Right down at the 28. Number 28 stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Jones is at the 15. Touchdown! 
Look at this run, Dan. Everything worked out to perfection. Look at the fluidity of the running style. There's no wasted motion there. What a play. They take the lead on that touchdown, Peter, and they have to be happy with their performance on that drive. Yeah, great calls and great execution. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Gets the signal, and we're set. Number two kicks this one away. Carter runs out for a touchback. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. That's good work out there, all right, man. All right, yeah. The Here Titans the stalled the early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see right, what happens right. here. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Number 17 puts his arm into this one, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. 17 makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. First Watch down, pass, one man back. Down, down, down. Henry marches off right guard and rambles for about five. Well, as you can see, up over the 100-yard mark, just another day in the office. Eventually runs out of bounds at the 37. Number 17 had no one to throw to, so he just tucked it under and went for it. It's worth another look. If it wasn't for that scramble, he would have been toast. up a couple. Henry got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Gotta take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Number 17. Black is it out left side, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Lock him down. Lock him down. Gun, gun, gun. Falls incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 25 broke up the quick outside pass on that last play by reading it perfectly. No catch. Incomplete. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. It sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Attacks him way back at the 43. Man. Number 25 goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Sacks don't get much easier than that. They could have punted it away and chose to go for it on fourth down. Now, will that cost them? Well, with the score this close, it's hard to say, but you never want to hit the other guy in air. gets the ball on first down and searches for a hole. Tackled at the 47. Number 28 will get the carry on second down and picks up the first down. Number 28 sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Nice second down call and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether just like that. First down, just a single receiver on the field. Down! Set! 
Jones takes his 19th carry of the game, and the Titans take their first timeout. Second down, the clock is stopped at 1.55. Does this one work? The Titans will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down, two receivers to the left. No good. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. The passing play didn't work out, Dan, and with the incomplete, the clock will stop. A double whammy against the O here. Number 16 lines up for the punt. Number 16 takes the long snap and punts it away. The Titans start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.40. Makes the catch on the right sideline, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Number 17 made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Go 54! Number 17 throws this one over the middle, and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. Number 15 took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. And Peter, that time, neither of those guys really had a height advantage on the other. Yeah, and sometimes when you find yourself locked in a matchup like that, it simply becomes a question of who wants the ball more. Advantage offense there. First down, both wide outs to the right. Rips him down in the backfield, and the clock continues to run. The Titans take a timeout. That's their final one. Number 97 forced the offense back a few yards with a terrific sack in the backfield back there. That's number four on the game for this defense. They've made their presence felt. Yes, they have, Dan. Second down. The clock is stopped at 53. Number 17 tosses it down the left side, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 31 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice and aggressive deep. Third down, two wideouts on the field. 16 grabs the rope right side, and they get the first on third and long. Let's go, baby! Don't let him get a step on you! Twitch! Black 22! Right there! Twitch! Number 17 just rifles this one and it's intercepted. Locked down at the eight. Dan, this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. Dan, this game is over. There's no way for the D to stop the clock, and the offense is just going to sit on the ball to win this one. For tonight's game, the Packers come out on top 20 to 13. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to 
the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 17 would find his target on this one. That set up a 45-yard field goal. The Packers come right back. Jones ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. That set up a 31-yard field goal. Game tied, 13-all. Jones is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening and then let get him go. He's off to the races. Number 17, get up ahead of steam, and then it was clear sailing from there. Titans losing 20 to 13. Number 22 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers edge out a win 20 to 13. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Jones was kind enough to give us a moment of his time, and he's on the field with Susie Calder. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You played brilliantly, and you nose them out in this nail-biter game. What put you guys over the top? Man, I think that our linebackers are the spark plugs for the whole team. Nobody wants to win more than those guys, and they put their bodies on the line every down for the good of the team. And they should get a lot of credit for this win. Chris, back to you. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.